بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Welcome to another geometry test First question The sum of lenses of all the edges of a cube is 72 As we know The cube is a solid Consists of 6 faces Each face is a square If we start counting the number of the edges Number of line segments Consists of this Cube We will figure out that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 edges. So 12 edges are there in the cube. So by dividing 72 by 12, I figure out that each side or each edge in the cube is equal to 6. Now, what is the volume of the cube? Volume of the cube is the product of the three sides. Is the product of the three sides. So, 6 times 6 times 6 is equal to 216. So, the right answer is A. Second question. In the given figure, what is the value of x? As we can see, we can see a line segment and a straight line perpendicular to it. I have a right angle, another angle of measure 20, and two angles, each one of them is equal to x. The sum of all the angles drawing on this line segment is equal to 180. So I can write down an equation by adding 2x and 20 and 90 equal to 180. Or I can say that 2x is equal 180 minus 110, which is equal to 70. And 70 divided by 2 is equal to 30. Five. So the measure of each one is equal to 35. So maybe you change one of the answers. So the first answer is 35. Question number three, I have two parallel lines and I have a measure of angle X in the middle. My advice in this one to draw a line which is parallel to these two lines. And then you are going to find the alternate angle. Angle 20 is equal to angle 20 and angle 30 is equal to angle 30 pi alternate pi. Alternate. So 30 is equal to 30 and 20 is equal to 20, so the value of x is 50. In the given figure, I have a triangle. The sum of the interior angle of the triangle is equal to 180. So x plus 2x plus 30 is equal to 180. So 180 minus 30, which is equal to 50. And 2x plus x is equal to 3x. So 3x is equal to 150 after I subtract 30 from both. By divided by 3, so x is equal to 50. So the right answer is C. Question number 5. The same rule. The sum of the interior angle of the triangle is equal to 180. So x minus 10 plus 2x minus 20 plus 75 is equal to 180. And I can say also that x minus 10 plus 2x minus 20 is equal to 180 minus 75 directly, which is equal to 105. x and 2x is 3x. <clears throat> so 3x is equal to 180. Negative 10 and negative 20 move to the other side, positive 30. Positive 75 move to the other side, negative 75. So 3x is equal to 210 minus 75 is 135. Divided both by 3, so the value of x is equal to 45 degrees. And the right answer is C. The measure of angle in a triangle are in the ratio 2 to 3 to 5. It means if you draw a triangle, you can take this angle as 2x, and this angle as 3x, and this angle as 5x. Any ratio in any question, you can change it into letters. So I know that the sum of 2x and 3x and 5x is up to 180, as the sum of the interior angle of the triangle is 180. So 10x is equal 180. So 1x is equal to 18 degrees. Now, if I wanted to find the smallest angle, it's going to be 2 by 36 which is equal to seven, uh, sorry, two by 18, which is equal to 36. But if I want to find the largest, it's five by 36 by 18 also, <laughs> I insisted that it's a 36, which is equal to 90 degrees. 
If the difference between the measure of two smaller angles in the right angle triangle, you have a right angle triangle. These are the two smaller angles, one of them X and one of them Y. Difference between them or the different or, or the change between them is equal to 10. What is the measure of the smallest? Think about it. If the smallest 36, so the greatest 47, their sum is not equal to 90. If the smallest 42, so the greatest 52, their sum is equal to 90. But if the smallest is 40, the greatest is 50, and their sum is equal to 90 degrees. Question number eight. In the figure below, triangle ABC is a right angle triangle. The length of AB is six and the length of CB is three. As we can see clearly that this side is half of this side. Right? So this angle is equal to 30 degrees. Why? Because the side opposite to it is half the hypotenuse. So I am sure that AC is equal three root three. Special right angle triangle. If you misunderstand this, you can go back to the videos on my channel to understand the special right angle triangle. So the length of AC here is equal to three root three. Question number nine, as we can see clearly, it's a trapezoid or a trapezium, and I'm looking for its area. Area of the trapezoid is half the sum of the two parallel bases multiplied by the height. This is base one, this is base two, and four is the height. But I am missing the length of base one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a perpendicular from B, makes an 90 here, this is four. 3, 4, 5 is one of the well-known triangles, 3, 4, 5. So this side is 3, and this side is 3, and this one is 10, so that one is 10. So the whole length of base 1 is equal to 16. So 16 plus 10 multiplied by the height, which is equal to 4. So 20, I can say that it's a half by 26 multiplied by 4, half the 4, is two and two multiplied twenty six is fifty two. So the right answer is fifty two. Question number ten: What is the length of each side of a square whose diagonal is ten? If we draw a square, the diagonal length is ten. We know that this is a special right angle triangle, and this side we called it leg. And the leg is equal 10. The leg is equal 10 divided by root 2. So 10 divided by root 2, multiply root 2 up and down. It's going to be 10 root 2 over 2, which is equal to 5 root 2. So the right answer is A. Question number 11. If the length of rectangle is 8 more than the width, Let's draw a rectangle. The width is x, so the length is x plus 8. Because it's 8 more than means plus the width. If the perimeter of the rectangle is the same as the perimeter of a square whose side 10, if we have a square, its side is 10, so the perimeter of this square is 40. So the perimeter of this rectangle is 40. So if I add up the sides of the rectangle, it's supposed to give me 40. X and X and X and X, 4X. 8 and 8, 16. So I'm going to subtract here 16. So 4X is equal to 24. So X is equal to 6. It's not that. He also looking for the area. So if this is 6, so this is 14 and 6 multiplied by 14 is 84, so the area is 84. Sorry for that, but you can change the answer of A. Question number 12. If the length of rectangle is four times the width, this is X, but this is 4X, and the area is 100, what the area of the rectangle? Area of rectangle is 4X multiply X is equal 100, so 4X squared is equal 100, 
divided by 4. So x square is equal to 25. So x is equal to 5. What is the perimeter? If this one is 5, so this one is 20. So this 5, this is 20. So the whole area is 50. Question number 13. Diagonal of rectangle are 10 and its area is 48. Another rectangle, its diagonal is 10 and its area is 48. I know that area of rectangle is length by width. What the number multiply by another to give me 48, you will figure out that it's six and eight. So it's a clearly one of the well-known right angle triangle. So six and eight is the sides. So I'm looking for the perimeter. So six plus eight plus six plus eight, which is equal to 28. Pentagon is five sides. Question number 14. What is the measure in degree of each interior angle of regular pentagon? Pentagon is a shape formed from five sides and measure of each interior angle is 108. 90 is for the square. We don't have a shape with 100 and 120 is for the hexagon. Regarding question number 15. What is the circumference of a circle whose area 36 pi? The area of the circle is equal pi r square. So 36 pi, so the radius is equal to six because six by six is equal to 36. Now, what is the circumference? Circumference is equal to two pi r. So it's two pi multiplied by six, which is equal to 12 pi. So the circumference is 12. Question number 16, what is the surface area of a cube whose volume is 36? I think there was a mistake in this one. The volume here is 216. The volume is 216, so if I wanted to find the side, it's the cubic root of the volume. So it's the cubic root of 216, which is equal to six. If I wanted to find the surface area of a cube, it's the area of one face, which is side by side, but I have six faces, so it's six side square. Again, in the cube, you have six faces. Each face is a square, so it's six side square. So six by six square, which is six by 36. So it's again 216, but the difference between the two number volume and unit is the unit of measuring. Area is with side square, but volume is with the cubic unit. What the area of a circle whose circumference is 10 pi? Circumference is 10 pi. So circumference is 2 pi r. So 2 pi r is equal to 10 pi. So I cancel the pi. So the radius and divided by 2 is equal to 5. Radius is 5. So what the area? Area is pi r square. So pi multiply 5 square. So it's 25 pi. A square of area four is inscribed in a circle. Square inscribed in a circle. The area of the square is four. So what the length of the square of the square is two, because two by two is four. The diagonal of the square here is represent diameter of the circle. Diagonal of the square represent diameter of the circle. What is the area of this circle? We know that in, in any special right angle triangle two, two, so the hypotenuse is two root two. So I am sure that the side of the radius is root two. The whole side here is two root two, so half of it is root two. So what the area? Area of the circuit is pi r, which is root two square. And root two square is two, so it's two pi. A square its side length is equal to the diameter of a circle whose area is 16. What the area of the circle? Pi r square. So pi r square is equal to 16 pi. 
So R square is equal to 16. So R is equal to 4. So the side of the square is equal to 4. So what the area of the square? Area of the square is side by side. So 4 by 4, which is equal to 16. Question number 20. What is the volume of a cube whose surface area 24? We said that in the cube, I have six faces. And each face is a square. So first, I can find the area of one face by divided 24 by 6. So area of a square is equal to 4. So what the side length of the cube? root of the 4, which is equal to 2. So what is the volume? Volume is 2 bar 3, which is equal to 8. 